Welcome to another El Foctos recipe. Today I want to show you how you can go from this to this simply with Photoshop. And um, yeah, if you want to know how you can create this uh, Chrome effect, you can watch my Crispy Chrome video. It's also linked in the description. And I would say we can start now. So first of all, you can create um, a black background like this. Put your Chrome object and place it somewhere you want. And then you can go with your objects. In my case, I used some uh, Nike swooshes I created and um, yeah, just choose a color. In my case, I choose the green one. And our first step is to, um, we can start with the middle one. Um, we go on our layer right click blending options and then what i need is a outer glow so if you have for example a red one of course you create a red glow in my case it's a green one so you can play around with the opacity on the slider or uh, with the size i think this is perfect click ok and what you can do now is you press the Alt key, go with your mouse on the effects. Um, while pressing the Alt key, you drag and drop it on the other layers. If you have more than one object, obviously. Okay. So now we have our outer glow and we create a new layer. We go with our pencil um, hardness to zero, choose the color you want, in my case the green one, and of course you continue with the color you started first. So I create a glow, uh, just, a, just a dot, control T, size it down a little bit and make it fit on your object. something like this and now you play around with the um, blending options uh, in this case I find out that the vivid light look the best so I choose vivid light um, I control C control V to copy this layer I press control T to move it around and transform it for the other Nike logos. Okay, Control C, Control V, Control T. Now you see you have a very nice glow. Um, if you have a glow nearby a Chrome object, uh, you have some reflections. Um, and that's the next step what we do. Also, um, you put these layers in a, in a group, mark all of them, control G to group them. You can name them uh, glow. <clears throat> then you create a new layer and you continue with, um, with the pencil, just making a dot and press Ctrl T and transform it like this. You can do it by, by your feeling, how it feels the best. So just think about it when you have a glow nearby this object. Um, the, the light is very strong around the, the glowing object. So you do something like this and I go to a blending option and go with color dodge to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I continue with uh, control C, control V, control T and place this light areas on my Chrome object. 
and see what looks the best. Control C, Control V, Control T. and so on. Okay, now we are finished with our reflection in our Chrome object. So we um, select our first layer, then scrolling down to our last layer, hold, uh, press and hold Shift, click our last layer to select them all, press Ctrl G to group them, and we have our reflection, reflection and glow. Um, I also created, when you see the original, I also created something like this, some fog or light um, on the ground. And I show you how you can create this as well. Um, I go with, the, with our layer, the Chrome object, I copy. Then I transform it something like this. I select it by pressing Ctrl and clicking on the layer. Um, then I go with uh, with a color balance and I create some magenta color for this copied layer. I select them both, press Ctrl E to, um, to combine them. Then I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I go with 36%. Pressing OK. Now I go and create another layer and choosing a purple color to create a gradient. And I go with screen with the blending option on this layer and under color balanced uh, on this um, copied layer, I just play around with the blending options. And I think lighter color. Yeah, not bad. I go down with the opacity. Also go down with opacity on this purple gradient. I think it's not bad. And for the last step, I just create um, a new adjustment layer. Go to hue saturation and go up with a saturation to make it look more glowy, more crispy. And of course, you can also create a layer uh, with some, some grain. You create a 50% gray layer. You see this in the background. New layer, you go to Control, Backshift. Then you go to the Blending Options, Overlay, Filter, uh, Noise, Add Noise. 
and you can go with maybe 10 percent and you can see nice grainy texture so here you can see the difference for me it makes it makes it look more realistic and i see that the women maybe are too saturated so i go with the I go on the uh, mask with a pencil and a black color. Black is hiding, white is showing. And I just draw on them. Okay, so you can see just this area is saturated. And that's it. So, you can go and put them all in a group to see the difference. You can switch it off and on. And now you know how you can create a nice glowy effect and make your artwork look more interesting. Um, I linked some of my social medias in the description. Um, of course, I appreciate it a lot if you share this video, like this video, comment this video and help me to uh, to grow on YouTube. Um, if you have some questions, you can ask me anytime. You can text me on uh, Instagram or just write it down in the comments. Let me know what I can do for the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.